Hi, I'm Jim, W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. Um, this is a box that I, I, maybe there's others like this out there. I, I simply don't know, but I, uh, I want to mention a couple of things that I think are really important with regards to this box. Uh, number one, this cord is, uh, says on it, uh, 14 gauge, 14 AWG. It says three dash 14 AWG. So it's a three conductor. Uh, so 14 gauge, 14 gauge, uh, by us standards, as far as I know is good for 15 amps. Um, the plug on this box, uh, it's got a nice long cord and there's a plug and it's a molded cord and the plug and uh, note that the uh, plug is a standard um, uh, 15 amp plug and I'll bring that up on the screen too. So that's a standard uh, if it'll focus and maybe it won't. There we go. And it says right on it, uh, 15 amps. Now, what I want you to note is the writing on this box, the uh, printing says 120 volt AC, 25 amp, 3000 watts maximum. Okay, the cord is a 15 amp cord, but it says 25 amp. And so 120 volts, 25 amps, sorry, you can't hold it still, 3,000 watts. All right, that's something I'm not real happy about. Here's something I'm less happy about. There's the fuse, if I can get it to focus. Got to get it in the right spot. Okay, there's the fuse. AC line in, ground, fuse. 30 amp. So... Uh, to go over that again, so it's real clear and get me back up on the screen. A 15 amp cord, 15 amps max. A 30 amp fuse protecting the 15 amp cord. The outlet in a wall, uh, the wall outlet for that matter, is in a typical residence, unless the outlet has other purposes, generally speaking, it's going to be a 15 amp going to be wired with 14 uh, gauge wire, 14 gauge non-metallic cable, sometimes called Romex. Occasionally outlets are 20 amp, and if they're 20 amp, uh, one of the uh, prongs on the plug is uh, vertical and the other one's horizontal. So a 20 amp plug has a different configuration in the U.S. And this one, they're both vertical, which is 15 amps. The cord is 15 amps. The fuse is 30 amps. 30 amp fuse protecting a 15 amp cord. Um, it also says that uh, um, uh, the implication is that these are 25 amp outlets. They're not. They're a standard 15 amp outlet. So these are 15 amp outlets. It says, um, if I get my fingers in the right place, 25 amps. The cord is 15 amps. The plug is 15 amps. The fuse is 30 amps. So what do you think? 30 amp fuse, 15 amp cord. Um, I, I think what I may do is not use this box or if I were going to use it, I would take the 15 amp fuse that I happen to have on the shelf and put it in there, tossing the 30 amp fuse. I did look, it is a 30 amp fuse. So the math, the math altogether doesn't add up because it says uh, 3000 watts here, but a 30 amp fuse times 120 volts in the US would be 3600 watts. The cord is capable of handling, um, according to my understanding, uh, 1800 watts. So I've got 1800 watts here, 3600 watt fuse, 
and it says 3000 watts here. Uh, and again, the implication is that each of these outlets is good for uh, 25 amps. They are 15 amp outlets. If you have any questions or comments, or if you think my math is not quite right, um, let me know. Uh, post a comment. Uh, explain your thoughts about this box. In the meantime, for me, it's what the heck were you thinking? to the manufacturer. What in the world? I'm Jim W6LG in Rockland, California.